This is take eight. Hi, my name is Chris Erskine. I'm an urban landscape artist and welcome to Art Post 55 for the week of February 8th, 2016. Um, last week I mentioned that I'm starting to work on multiple paintings and uh, to kind of keep the, the the fatigue factor at bay. You work so many hours on one painting uh, intensely on a, you know, like a four inch little area of canvas and it just, you get really, you get really tired of it. So to deal with that, I'm moving to multiple paintings. Uh, so that when I get tired of one, I just move on to the next one, then move on to another one. The only problem with this is that sometimes then you're juggling four or five, six paintings at the same time and it may take much longer to get them complete it then uh, than otherwise would be the case but um, nevertheless it helps with the fatigue and it seems to be working the other um, thing I realized and I mentioned last week was I really hadn't finished anything from 2015 uh, which I don't know why it was such a surprise but it was and so I decided that because I'm um, for the past 10 years I've been printmaking not painting and I only started painting again in 2015 um, I need time to get myself comfortable and familiar with painting again with painting and then the other thing is I'm switching from acrylics to oils and each of acrylics has a very different uh, characteristics than from oils and I have to learn the, the characteristics with oils to really be able to use them successfully so better to use those on existing paintings that are not finished than rather than new projects and then the other the other advantage of uh, finishing up my 2015 is um, as I said before it takes about a hundred hours per painting so I already got significant time invested in each of these paintings and so this allows me to kind of cut the completion time of these works because I've already invested so much time from last year so um, hopefully I will have uh, uh, more paintings uh, completed this year than otherwise would be the case um, yeah so that's where I'm at on that's where I am at that and it seems to be working uh, the other thing I uh, just want to mention is that I mentioned uh, an artist named Trevor Young. Uh, he's uh, an urban landscape artist out of uh, Washington, D.C. I had mentioned New Jersey, but sorry, it was watched just outside of Washington, D.C. And he emailed me this week. He's got some new paintings completed, and um, um, uh, and you can see them see them posted on his website. And if you go, if you do a Google search for Trevor young um, and artists and put those three terms in you'll get them he'll come up on the on the first page of search results and look for the tumblr reference and that'll take you right to his website and then his uh there's links to the i believe he has two galleries at the moment representing him uh he's a fantastic artist i'm very very much a fan of his work and I think uh, and if I could afford one of his paintings I would buy one uh, that's how much I like his work uh, he's a really great artist um, so take a look uh, I think he's well he'd be well worth your your time uh, to visit his a site and that's all I have this week um, again thanks for dropping by remember uh, my video blogs are posted every Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. On my personal blog site, Fat Cat Starving Dogs. They then show up in my feeds on Facebook and on Tumblr and on Twitter uh, and YouTube within an hour or so after uh, the 7 o'clock. I also am posting photos and uh, I have some other stuff that gets posted up on a daily basis. Um, they either get posted at 7 a.m. in the morning. But if they don't make the 7 a.m. posting, then I'll post them uh, usually around 11 o'clock to midnight uh, throughout the week. So there's always something new for you to look at. So thanks very much for dropping by. I appreciate your, all your support and interest. And we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.